Okay, we're going to try to go over what we learned today and with Autocrat, as well as make sure that you understand how to finish up the um, starting that add on the Autocrat with your spreadsheet. So if you can, just go to the um, documents that I shared with you. Most of us already did this step, but just to go over it to make sure that you did, you're going to make a copy of the form and of the document that has the, the merge carrots in it. Um, remember, this will make the process easier if you have it organized in a form, I mean in a folder, excuse me. So we're going to title that folder So once you have your folder, you're going to create a copy by right-clicking, make a copy, and you can rename those copies. We've done, we did that also, so I'm going to rename it. Um, so we'll walk through. Once you've made your copy, I want you to drag that into that file that you made so that you keep it organized. So we'll go in there. Okay. Then make a copy of this doc as well with the carrots in it. Okay. And I'm going to right click and rename that as well just so that I can stay organized. And then I'm going to put that in that folder as well. Once I know that I have made copies, these are going to be the documents that you know will send that email to um, your teachers and it be from you. Open up the form and we now need to create that spreadsheet. So we're going to click responses and create the spreadsheet. If you see now inside that folder, I've created that form. That form now creates, dumps all that information into the spreadsheet, which then we're going to run Autocrat, which will dump that information into this document, and then the teachers will get that emailed. So go back to your spreadsheet and click on Add-ons. I pushed this out through um, the admin server and just to make sure, um, I hope everybody has it. If you do not have Autocrat, click on Get Add-ons and search for it. Mine, of course, will be green because I already have it installed, but you would click blue. The next window that would pop up, you would need to scroll down and allow it to have access to your information in your drive. Once you have the add-on, you're going to launch it. This window will open up on the right hand side. You're going to click New Merge Job. Sometimes it takes a moment. Now this is asking you where are you going to get this template that you want me to email out. You could actually create one through here, but since we have already one created, we're going to search for that in Drive. And remember, I had renamed it School Walk. So I'm going to search for it. Of course, my drive is very full, but we're going to... Hear that? The blue one is the file the dock. It 
It's asking me to name the merge job. So Let's try that back. Try that again. I'm going to search for that file. There it is. Rename it, sorry. I think I've previously used that name, so I want to make sure I use the a new one. Now what it's doing is it's comparing your spreadsheet with that file with the merge tags. And they don't always line up. And you can see I have the first comment on that spreadsheet. I want to make sure that it corresponds with this question. So Autocrat, because I have several comments, it's just using the last comment. So I want to correct that. I want number one comment to go with number one's question. So I'm just going to go down to the drop down and fix these errors. I'm just going to make sure that they all match. Fourteen, sixteen, and seventeen, almost there. If I don't do this, it's going to dump the wrong information into the document. Okay, once that's done, I need to click Save. Now it's going to ask me, how are you going to name these files that you're now creating? I'm going to name it as the teacher's email. I can use these tags with the dollar signs because that also is grabbing the information off of what you put in that form. It's now going to ask me, what file type do you want to create? Well, a lot of teachers aren't using Google Docs fluently, so I would, want to, I would prefer a PDF. Then you can, you're going to click the checkbox that says email and share these merged documents. Then I'm going to address it to this teacher email that I put in the form. So I'm going to put dollar sign email. The subject is going to be your walkthrough. And I'm going to ask them to please see attached. So they're going to include a merge document that is the PDF. I have a, I have a ability to have it be an editable Google Doc. Of course, I wouldn't want that in this instance. Um, they could comment, which would be nice once our teachers do use Google Docs fluently. But I would probably, for this instance, never want to use a publicly viewed Google Doc. So a PDF file. I need to click Advanced Settings. And this is going to ask me to run the autocrat when the new forms are submitted. This means that once I submit a form, it's going to automatically send the email. Click Save. Now, of course, I want to check it to make sure it works. So I'm going to go to my form. Now, this is the editable. Edit, editing screen. So I want to actually see the form that I would use on a daily basis. Now you can make this form a shortcut on your phone. You can make it a shortcut on your iPad or you can make a shortcut on your desktop or a bookmark.
but you would use this URL to make that shortcut. So to fill this out, let's make it with the teacher. Date of observation, today. Time in, we started at three. Now I'm not going to take a whole bunch of time, but I'm just going to put in some information. And just like we did earlier, just to show you what it does. Scroll all the way down once you're finished, and you're going to click Submit. And now Autocrat is automatically working in the back, um, behind the scenes, and is going to put all that information that we just put in into an into that merged file and put that information and email it to me. So we just have to wait for that. Another way to check it while we're waiting is to look at the preview once through the Autocrat. And this will preview what my document would look like that's going to be emailed to me in a moment. So this is another way that if I was actually building, if I was building that right now, um, I would be able to go back and forth to the preview to see if it's exactly the way I wanted it to look. So I should be getting my email here in a few minutes. It's got, and there's my walkthrough. So it's got my email, the, time, the date, the time in, which I think I need to edit that because it's not going to be made it into a actual date, so I need to fix that. And teacher gives, let's look at this. Let's look at it in my email. So here's the PDF. There it is. And teacher gives clear and accurate exploit. We clicked yes and yes, and that um, undefined. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And I hope you guys are able to use this tool um, for many uses other than just a, a walkthrough. But if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. Get involved with Kentucky Go Digital. Attend regional events, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on Twitter.